Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I'm going to show you today how to make a hairpiece that incorporates wire. And I made my original one in red and used it for a steampunk snow white cosplay. But depending on the materials that you use, you could definitely make it for other cosplays, maybe a Rosie the Riveter look, a Lucille Ball type look, or just an everyday hairstyle. And so let's get right into the tutorial. To start you need wire, mine is 17 gauge electrical fence wire, and you also need two fabric pieces measuring 2.5 inches by 34 inches long, and I recommend using sturdy fabrics like upholstery materials. Trim the ends of both strips so they are gently curved. Lay the two strips right sides together lining up all the sides and sew around the outer edge with a half inch seam allowance. Make sure to leave 4 to 6 inches open in the center of one side. Trim down the seam allowance at the points, then turn everything right sides out through the opening. Next, grab your wire and lay it so it follows along the entire outer edge of the hairpiece with a couple of inches overlap, where the ends meet. Insert the wire one side at a time. Put some pins in to try to keep it from twisting while you're working with it. Then tape the ends together where they overlap. I actually forgot to tape mine together and the ends ended up poking out through the flannel side. Push the ends inside and carefully sew the opening closed very close to the folded edge. Then sew a channel around the entire piece. Be very careful when doing this. I accidentally hit the wire the first time and broke my needle. You want to feel the wire and push it to the edge then run your foot against it when you sew. Just make sure to not get in a hurry and this step should go perfectly fine for you. It should look like this and you are done. There's the wire ends where I didn't tape them together so I ended up just curling them back with some needle nose pliers. You can wear it like a head wrap on top of your hair as shown where the ends are twisted together and then they are shaped. But I prefer the other way which involves Jeremiah because I'm not very coordinated. We start with hair that hasn't been washed in a day or two and has some hairspray in it. This helps it to hold in place better. Then Jeremiah rolls it around the hairpiece starting at the bottom. When it gets to my neck, I take over and fix the ends how I like them. So there you have it. Pretty easy to make and use and depending on your materials works for lots of different occasions. Make sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on my future tutorials including the video showing how I made the skirt for my steampunk snow white look and I will see you all again later. Bye!